Family Channel. Welcome to this practice. I'm Laura from Budding Rose Yoga. So glad you can join me today. Today we're going to take a vinyasa flow practice, um, really working on um, making space in the heart, the shoulders, the throat. Um, so if you have a couple of blocks, grab some blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, um, a book can be really um, a really good alternative. Grab a block, a book, some other prop if you need. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask you to set up the props behind you. So using your block either on the short side or on the high side, and then placing one for the head as well. So we're going to lie down on the block. Allowing the first block to come in between your shoulder blades. And then let the head, the back of the head rest on the second block. Arms by your side, if you prefer on your belly, that's okay. And then either bringing the feet together with the knees out, or allow the legs to be straight. Whatever feels comfortable for you. So take your time to find the position that works for you. And if you come into it and it just really doesn't work, maybe it's just really painful or uncomfortable, then I want you to move the blocks away. Taking your time to settle, take your time to arrive here. Just beginning to notice every part of your body that comes into contact with the ground. Noticing the blocks underneath your body, notice how they support you and hold you up. And then notice the spaces in between. Bring your attention to the nape of the neck. The space in between your ribs and your arms. The space under your lower back. The space under the knees. And notice how this space is also holding you, supporting you and cradling you in this moment. And now I want you to really welcome yourself here. Welcome yourself on your mat today. Giving yourself complete and utter permission to be here. Now without changing anything just yet, I want you to draw your attention to your belly and just watch it. Watch it move, allow it to be soft, allow it to feel comfortable. Notice how your breath enters your body through your nose, traveling down the throat into the lungs, filling the rib cage, expanding into your belly. And watch the exhale, leaving your nose, emptying the breath completely. Our practice today is really about 
giving permission to feel however you feel and giving yourself permission to be still. During times of uncertainty in our life, we tend to reach out and grasp onto the things that are routine, the things that make sense so that we can feel reassured. And right now, this is the place that I want you to be. This place right here. Even if your mind is still swirling and distracted, even if there's an overwhelming sense of emotion through your body and there's feeling and there's uncertainty, instead of pushing those feelings and emotions away, I want you to, if you feel comfortable, acknowledge them. Acknowledge however you feel. And that might be, I feel sad. That might be, I feel scared. That might feel, I feel anxious. I'm uncertain about what the future holds. Or maybe it's pain, maybe it's grief. Maybe there's a sense of loss, of times gone before. But even a sense of loss of what may have been And I want you to know that all of these things, all of these feelings, and all of these emotions are valid. And you are absolutely entitled to feel these things. you to bring your attention now to your breath and take a really slow yet deep inhale and then exhale through the mouth and again deep breath in and out through the mouth Slowly draw the knees back together if they're apart. Walk your feet to one side, let your knees fall to the other side of your mat. Draw the chin in and then very gently roll off your box. Take a moment in fetal position and just pause, cradling your knees in towards your belly. Feel the ground underneath you. And then from here, gently come up to your seat. You can take the blocks away. Let us take a collective sound of arm together. I invite you to bring your hands together in prayer at your heart. Bow your head and take a slow, steady breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, we chant. Oh. Um. 
Allow this practice to be whatever you need it to be today. Whether that's for you to fill up, to be full, or whether that's so that you can give energy out and send it to someone that you know that needs it. But our collective theme is one that is wholesome and inviting of all that is. So we're inviting whatever feelings, whatever emotions. There's no need to rush. There's no need to hurry. And there's no need to try and fix everything in this moment. Pure acceptance, pure welcoming in of everything that you are right now. Let's come into child's pose. Take your time, take your time to get into that space. Taking your feet together behind you, maybe the knees as wide as your mat, or alternatively bring your knees together if that feels better for you. And let the arms reach out in front, let the head bow onto your mat. And just give your forehead a little massage, rolling from side to side. Let your belly be really expansive between your knees. And then come to stillness, pressing into your third eye. And I want you to breathe with you Jai breath. So feel that gentle squeezing of the throat passage, making that ocean-like sound with your breath. Exhale everything out. Take your time to come to all fours. Taking your weight forward, transferring your weight into the knees, the tops of the feet and the hands. <laughs> and then from here, maybe just exploring some free movement. So sometimes we get sort of caught up in this idea that we need to um, move in this really linear way, this forward and back motion. And that can sometimes be really restrictive in many ways. And so this practice is about maybe recognizing that even though everything might not make sense right now, and that's okay that maybe we can look at things from a different perspective, changing the way that we apply our energy, the way that we approach certain things in our life. So try not to be rigid in your thinking that everything needs to make sense. Because right now it doesn't. It's new and it's um, uncertain. So with that, let there be a sense of freedom. Let there be a sense of complete intuition to what you need in this very moment, even if you don't know what that is. So let there be a moment of exploration in your body, moving in any way that you need to move. And then maybe you come into a position and you're like, I just want to be still. And then if that's the case, honor that desire to be still. And 
then eventually I want you to, in your own time and way, come into downward facing dog. Hugging the toes, hover the knees. But let there be more for a second. Bending your knees, maybe one at a time. Shaking out your head if that feels appropriate. Coming into stillness. Begin to walk your feet forward, joining together in between the hands. With really soft knees, roll up to stand, peeling up through backbone by backbone. Layers are coming off. Okay, so from top of mat, spreading your toes. Even if your feet are a little bit wider here, that's okay. Take the arms all the way up, let the inhale fill your belly with your ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees, relax your face. And then halfway your hands to the shins, go forward, lengthen your spine. Breathe out to fold, relax. Inhale, sweep fingers to sky, look up. And exhale, hands together. Halfway lift, look forward in space. Bend the knees, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms reach to ceiling, look up, breathe in. Exhale, hands together and breathe. Deep breath in, reach the arms to sky. And then exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins or keep the hands to floor as you look forward. Right foot steps back, option. Bring the knee to the ground. Light on your fingers, look forward, lift your belly away from your thigh. Downwards facing, left foot back. Into plank, inhale, forward with your shoulders. Exhale, downwards facing dog. And again, into plank, breathe in. Downwards facing, breathe out. Weight into the left leg, take the right leg to sky. Step the foot between hands, lift the chest, fingertips light on your mat, breathe in, forward fold, breathe out, left foot forward, all the way up with arms, reach up, look up, deep breath, and exhale, tip forward and fold, inhale, look forward, halfway lift, left foot back as you exhale, pause, light on your fingers, you lift the chest. Downwards facing, right foot back. Inhale, find plank. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, find your plank. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches to sky. Exhale, bring it through between hands. Pause on the in breath, lift the heart space. Exhale, right foot forward, forward fold, relax your head. Lift up, look up, deep breath in. Hands together, exhale. Reach the arms to ceiling, deep breath in. And then open the chest to the right as you exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, reach up, look forward in space. And then exhale, twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. And again, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, open up to the right. Uh -huh. Reach the arms up to the sky. Lift the right knee off the floor, bring it in toward the chest. Begin to reach the toes behind you, reach the arms forward, warrior three. Lower tummy draws in. Right leg behind, lifted and powerful. One more breath. Step back with the right foot, bend the left knee, present lunge, reach your fingers to see them. Bend into the back knee a little bit for me so that your lower back can lengthen away. One more breath. Lower the hands to the floor. Sweep the left 
flexion up three legged dog. Lift and hold, press the hands actively into mat. Left knee comes to chest and then bring it down onto your mat. Three legged or three pointed tabletop, take the right leg behind you. Keep drawing the lower tummy in so you're not collapsing into your lower back. Being mindful that your right leg doesn't turn out, so roll the head of the hip down. Broad right foot. And then from the hip, I want you to turn your toes out to the right. Deep breath in. And then toes down as you exhale. And again, inhale, turn the leg out. And exhale to close. Again, turn the leg out. Keep your toes turned out, shift your right leg out to the side. Keep it as high as you can. And then take it back, breathe in. Out to the right, breathe out. And again, deep breath. And then exhale out to the side and hold it there. Hold it for three, two, one. Bring it all the way down in line with your left knee and then press into the outside edge of the toe. Walk the hands up, lift up, gate pose. I'd like to introduce So the right hand down, the right leg, left arm reaches over, come into a side bend. Be mindful that your, ta your tailbone doesn't stick out here, so the tailbone draws under the lower tail lifts in. Come back through centre, left hand to the floor, and then from here, press your tailbone toward your pubic bone. Modified side plank. If you wish, let your right leg hover and lift off your mat. Fist three, two, and one. Bring the foot down, come back to gate position. And then draw the hips back, the heart forward. Walk your hands so they're underneath shoulders. From here we'll come into a twist. Take the weight into the right hand. Let the left arm reach as high as you can reach it. And then spread it underneath your right arm. Shoulder, left temple to your mat. Keeping your right leg active. Either staying with your right hand on the floor or take the arm up to ceiling and maybe around the back of the body and into a half bind. Peel your right shoulder back in space. Take another breath. Untangle your bind. Bring the right hand, left hand back into mat. Let's hover the right leg, lift it up. And this time, bring it all the way through in between your hands. We'll come into half splits. Take a deep breath and lengthen through the front body. And exhale, forward fold. Again with breath, lift and lengthen, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Last time, breathe in to lift. And breathe out to lower. Stay in the deepest part of your fold. Maybe the arms are out in front. And keep sending the crease of your right hip towards your mat. Take another slow breath. Gently walk the hands back up toward, lift the chest. You're either going to keep your left hand where it is, use a block if you need. We'll take the hand to the outside of the right leg. Right hand to the hip. Be mindful that your right hip doesn't start to roll outward, keep hugging it down. Peel your right shoulder back in space, open into a twist. Maybe right arm rises. If you're feeling supersonic today, maybe look up to your thumb and see it with your left eye. Breathe. Slowly look down. Both hands to the floor, frame the front leg. Take the weight forward into foot, come off the back knee, tuck the back toes under. Now send your hips to the sky and allow your front leg to extend. Now extend doesn't mean straighten, so if it isn't fully straight, don't worry about it. Yeah, if there's a bend in the knee, that's okay. And if you need blocks, that's also okay. Take a deep breath and lengthen through your front body. And then exhale, fold forward. And again, lift and lengthen, breathe in. Exhale, fold. One more time, lift and lengthen. And exhale, fold. Now stay in the deepest part of your fold. And if you wish, walk your hands back. So the fingers are pointing back, the palms facing down. 
allowing yourself to lie along the length of the right leg. Steady breath. Lift the chest, walk the hands forward. Let's take the weight into the front foot, bend the front knee, standing split, left leg reaches up. One more breath, reach the toes to the ceiling. And then from here, look forward, bend the supported knee, bring your left knee in towards your chest and keep the foot off the floor if you can. See if we can come all the way up to stand, hands to the left shin, look forward. forward and up as you inhale and then twist to the left as you exhale left thumb back right arm forward inhale reach up lift forward exhale open to the right inhale reach up last side exhale open to the left let the arms reach all the way to ceiling Taking the weight into the right foot, peel the left knee into chest, foot comes off the floor. Active left leg. From here, keep the arms by your ears as you begin to pivot forward. Left leg extends behind you, Virabhadrasana three. Trying your best to roll the head of the left hip to your mat so the inner groins have to engage and stabilize. Lower tummy gathers in, final breath. Step back with the left leg, reach the fingers to sky, crescent lunge. Bend into your back knee to lengthen your lower back. And then bring the hands to the floor. Sweep your right leg through and back, three-legged dog. Inhale. Knee to nose as you exhale. And then position the knee down onto your mat, come to shin and top of foot. Left leg lifts behind, breathe in. Hold as you exhale. Lower tummy gathers in. Again, we want to make sure we're not collapsing into the lower back. So stabilize, lower tummy active. From your hip, let your toes turn out. And then close the hip, toes point to the floor. And again, inhale, turn the leg out. Exhale, toes down. And again, turn the leg out. And then sweep the left leg out to your left, as high as you can keep it. Creep it back, keep the toes turned out, breathe in. And again, exhale out to the left. Breathe in, take it behind. Last time out to your left and hold it there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, and one. Bring it down to the floor in line with your right knee. And then walk your hands back, lift up, gate pose. Left arm down the left leg, take a side bend, right arm overhead. Breathe into the space that you're creating. So into your right hip, your right waist, long ribs, armpit, fingertips. And then arms wide. Take your right hand to the floor. Make sure that your hand, your knee, and your left foot are in one line. Left arm reaches up. Send your tailbone towards your pubic bone. And maybe you feel comfortable to hover your left leg off the floor. Modified side plank. Keep reaching and lengthening out of your right waist, right wrist and arm. Bring the left foot to the ground, come back under the gate pose, arms out to the side. Send the hips back, walk the hands forward. From here into a twist. Wait 
to your left hand, right arm reaches as high as you can reach it. And then spread it underneath your left arm to the side. Shoulder down, right cheekbone to the floor. Either keep the left hand on your mat or take it up. And then maybe wrap it around your back body. Snuggle the fingers to your right hip crease. Pull your left shoulder back in space. Final breath. Unravel through your bind. Bring the hands back to mat. Lift the chest, deep breath. And then hover the left leg. And sweep it forward. We come into half splits. Squaring out the hips. Lift the chest, breathe in. And then exhale, fold. And again, lift and breathe. And then relax and fold. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Stay in the deepest part of the fold. Maybe the arms out in front of you. For more sensation, keep curling your toes to your face. If this feels too strong, relax. Relax the knee, relax the foot. Let's walk the hands up. So we prepare to come into twist here. So remember your option, either hand on the floor, right hand, use a block if you need. Or if you're comfortable and you have the space, take the right arm to the outside of your left leg. Square your hips, squeeze your sitting bones together so there's energy and activation there. It's going to help you stabilize and balance, I promise. Left hand to the hip, shoulder rolls back, ribs spin to the side. Maybe the left arm up. If you feel that you can catch the sight of your thumb with your right eye, then look up, reach up, breathe. Slowly look down. Hands to frame the front foot. Take the weight forward. Come off the back knee. Lift the hips nice and high and fold. Breathe in, we expand. And breathe out, we fold forward. And again, deep breath. Deep breath out. Last time, lift up, breathe in. And exhale, fold. Now stay in the deepest space belly to thigh, maybe the heart to the knee, creeping your hands behind you, unfold. I really want you to press into the big toe mound on your left foot and let your right heel melt towards your mat. One more breath. Walk the hands forward, look forward, bend the front knee, transfer your weight into the left foot, right leg lifts, stand and split. From here, look forward, bend the knees, bring your right knee to chest. If you can, keep the foot off the floor. We're going to come up to balance. So hands to the knee, hands to the foot, the shin, and lift up to stalk pose. Find your twist left hand to the hip. And you're going to keep your knee bent with your hand on your knee as you turn the leg out to the side. Or take your first two fingers to your big toe, extend the leg forward, and then let the leg turn out. Up through your waist, back body long and lengthening. Three, two, and one. Take it in front. If you can, just for a moment, release your toe, but keep your leg where it is. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. And then bring the feet together, reach the arms deep breath in. Exhale, hands together, and release. And again, bring it up and lengthen. Exhale, hands together. Reach the arms to the sky. Inhale, lengthen through fingers. Exhale, tip forward and fold. Halfway lift, look forward. Either step or hop back to plank. Chaturanga, Dandasana, or knees, chest, and chin. Cobra or up dog, lift the heart. Back into down dog. Exhale. Take a moment here, relax your face, relax your jaw, relax your eyes. Let's 
Take the weight into the left leg, to the right leg, to ceiling, all the way up. Bring the knee to nose, step the foot between hands. Bring the back heel to the floor, go over dress for two. Let your left arm reach back as your right arm reaches forward in space. Sinking down into the hips, right knee above ankle. Relaxing around your shoulders and your jaw and your face. Arching back, reverse warrior, left arm down, the back leg, right arm reaches up and over. And then into warrior two. From warrior two, side angle, forearm to the thigh, left arm reaches across the body, look underneath your arm. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, stay. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stay. Exhale, side angle, your forearm to the thigh. Now let's see if we can move between those two but without using the arm so that your left arm sweep across your belly to the front as your right arm reaches back. Back through warrior two. Take your right arm across the belly as your left arm reaches over without sitting on your thigh. Inhale, center. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, center. Exhale, side angle. Good, come back to center. Let the front leg extend. Woo. And turn your toes to the side. From here into a wide angle forward fold. So bring the hands to the hips. Lift your heart, breathe in. And then tip forward and fold as you exhale. Try and keep your chest broad here without collapsing the shoulders in. So elbows hugging back. Let the chin nestle to the chest as you bow the head down. Maybe the hands stay on your lower back here. Or maybe you wish to bring the hands to the floor. If you fancy coming into a headstand tripod, you are more than welcome. <laughs> so the hands, shoulder width, chin into the chest, top of head to mat. Transition the weight into the balls of the feet. And if you can, let the legs float to the sky. Point your toes, hug the inner thighs together. Steady breath. Tops of the feet as you inhale, upwards facing. And then over the feet, downwards facing dog. Slow and steady breath. Take the weight into the right foot, take the left leg to the sky as you inhale. Step the foot between hands as you exhale, pivot the back, heel down, warrior two. Wind or the arms open. Begin sinking down into your hips. Really broad and powerful arms. Soften the jaw. Find your jai breath. Reverse warrior. Take the right arm back, the left arm reaches to sky. If it's uncomfortable to look up, don't do it. Yeah, relax your neck and look down if that feels better for you. We'll come back to warrior two. Take your forearm to your thigh without collapsing into the hips so there's length through your side body. Reach your right arm across the chest, gaze underneath the arm. Just come back to warrior two, breathe in. Reverse warrior, breathe out. Inhale, we stay. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, we stay. 
exhale, extended side angle. And let's see if we can join those together without using support. So inhale up, and then exhale, reverse. Sweep your arm across the belly to the front, and then back to centre warrior two. Take the left arm across the belly, right arm overhead, extended side angle. And again, breathe in. Leaning forward, but don't rest on your thigh. Don't do it. Inhale, we lift. Woo. Exhale, extend the front leg. Turn the toes to the front, to the side. And let's take the hands to the hips. Breathe in, expand through your heart. And exhale, tip forward. Oh. Let's take the hands to the floor. And then walk your hands towards the right leg and allow your chest your belly to fold against the thigh the knee and the shin and keeping the hand on the foot as you take the right arm up to the sky opening into a twist come back through center walk your hands to the center and then to the other side Right hand to the left ankle. Hug your body toward the leg. Either both hands stay where they are or your left arm reaches up, spinning your ribs open to the side. One more breath. Slowly return to center. Lift halfway, look forward. And then walk to the top of your mat. Spin on your feet, bending the front knee. Three-legged dog, take the leg through and up. Any variation coming forward to plank. And then bend the arms and lower. Up with facing dog, deep breath. Child's pose as you exhale. heart melting and the hatasana so stacking the hips above the knees reaching the arms out in front and allowing the heart the chest to melt downward the forehead can rest on your mat here and you can look towards your knees if you have a bit more space in your shoulders upper back then take the chin to your mat look forward and hold and naturally. And then slowly bringing your weight into forearms, take your hips forward and your pelvis down. Keep the chest lifted as you rest into forearms and palms. Pressing into the tops of the feet, into all of your toenails, lifting the heart through. Here, either keep the hands flat or interlace your fingers and keep your elbows glued to the earth. We'll come into forearm plank. So tucking the toes under, lift the knees, the hips, draw the lower tummy in. If this feels too strong for you right now, be on the knees. Take your weight slightly forward so there's energy required here to build strength, right? Otherwise, your knees are going to be up, shoulder heads forward. Kick your heels away from you. So there's an opposing force moving you back and forth. Steady breath for three. Two. One, walk 
take your feet up towards your elbows for dolphin. Hips nice and high, relax the head. Head is off the floor right now. Again, if this is too strong, come to child's pose anytime. Make sure your head is nice and free between your arms. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can be. Staying here for five. Toes, child's pose. Bring your hips back. Take your arms by your side, by your feet, and let your shoulders melt down by your ears. Gomukhasana legs. So with the knees bent, crossing one leg underneath, the knee pointing forward. And you're either going to take the foot across, maybe the foot's on the floor and the knee's pointing up, and that's okay. Yeah. Or if you can, if you're comfortable, bringing the knees to stack, the feet are fanning either side of the hips. If this feels unattainable for you right now, Always take the half variation so the bottom leg will be extended. Yeah. Allowing both of your sitting bones to be glued down into your mat. Take the right hand to the floor, let the left arm reach overhead. And I want you to really soften the elbow and the shoulder away from your ear. Otherwise, the energy just gets stuck here. So let it melt down into your hand and into the band. If it's comfortable, look underneath your arm, spiral your heart to the sky. Put back to centre. You'll see that on the other side. So taking the left hand down, bend the arm, relax the shoulder away from your ear, and reach the right arm over head. Steady breath. center. And then bring the hands behind you in any way that you can. Uncross the legs and change. So just switching, taking the opposite leg and on top. And just recognizing you might need more support on this side. Again, if this feels unobtainable, don't force it. If it's painful, come away from it and offer yourself some support. The inner thighs rolling together, sitting bones pressing down. Left hand to the floor, right arm overhead. Breathe into your lung, right lung, right ribs. Gently change sides, reaching across. Come back through center. Hands behind, across the legs. This time, let us come to either reverse tabletop, where the feet are going to be flat, the knees pointing up, hands behind, fingers point forward in space. So you're either going to take the weight off the hips, into the feet, and into the hands, and hold. Or reverse tabletop, legs straight, point your toes, hands in the same position behind you, lift the hips, point your feet, and lift your head space above you or looking forward will stay for five. Steady breath. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bringing the hips to the ground. Oh, walk your hands forward with soft knees. 
and then let yourself really slowly dangle forward over the leg. No force, no pull, no strain, no effort, just let gravity do the work for you. to the sky as you bring your feet about hips width apart. We'll prepare for a couple of rounds of back bend and it may be that you just stay here. Maybe this is enough for you right now or maybe you feel like you want to take some movement but it not to be too dynamic. So you may even wish without lifting your hips off the floor just to roll your tailbone, point your tailbone up as you roll the pelvis and then point your tailbone down as the pelvis rotates forward. So pelvis rotating back and forward. Maybe feeling your lower back as it presses into your mat. And then as you roll the pelvis forward, the space underneath the back arrives. Curling forward and back. Maybe that's where you need to be. Stay there if that's enough. Otherwise, the next time your tailbone curls under, your pelvis is moving back in space. We have this energy through underneath the body, through the back line of the body, engaging and contracting the front body. Pressing into the hips with the feet, sorry, so the hips lift off the ground. Come onto the ridge of your shoulders so there's a little bit more room and space to lift. Your arms can be by your side, or you can take them and make a fist, interlace your fingers underneath you. Try and draw your chin slightly away from your chest here. Looking up, calm and steady breath. And then very slowly release your hands, backbone by backbone, roll all the way down. wide, keep the knees bent and let them just fall together. Constructive rest, take a pause. I'm going to ask you now to just check in with what you need. If you need to be still, be still. If you want to continue with those movements of the pelvis, then go ahead. They are delicious. You can even come back into supported back bend, supported bridge, sorry. So septu bandhasana, if that's where you're at. Or one round, if you wish, of urdhva dhanarasana, full bridge. So the knees pointing up, the feet about hips width. Bring the hands to either side of the ears with the fingers pointing to the shoulders, elbows pointing up in space either popping onto the top of the head as you take the weight into the hands and lift up. When you're ready to release, don't rush. But when you're ready to come down, bring yourself onto your back. Again, feet wide, knees together. Hand on your heart, hand on your belly. And just feeling however you feel, welcoming whatever sensation you've experienced. yourself complete and utter permission 
to rest. So allowing yourself to be comfortable. Take a blanket if you need. Coming down to lie in Shavasana. Letting go of any last effort over your breath. If there's any last movement you want to take, don't be afraid to explore that. Slowly bring your attention back to this space and back to your body. And let there be some inquiry as to how you feel without any judgment, without any expectation. And instead of any judgment, can you flood yourself with gratitude? Can you hold yourself with compassion for whatever it is that 
you might be feeling. Whether that's joy, whether that's space, whether that's uncertainty. That knowing that you have given yourself the most beautiful gift today by taking this time out for you, for joining your body, your mind, your spirit in this sacred practice of yoga. Start to feel back into toes and fingers with movement. When you're ready to do so, maybe taking the arms above the head, taking a really deep and slow breath in. And then side out. And again, deep breath in. And release. Let the knees come into chest, give yourself the biggest embrace. And then gently rolling to one side, taking as long as you need to there. And when you're comfortable to come up, join me in a seat. Hands together in front of your heart, a symbol of honouring yourself, bowing toward the divine in you, the divine in you that shines so incredibly brightly even if the light is so small right now, yeah, that flicker of hope, that flicker of possibility. Finding that flame within you, that spark of energy, that spark of faith, and that spark of love. Let us come together and chant. Take a slow breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, we prepare. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. give thanks and gratitude to our teachers past and present for carrying on this ancient practice of yoga. Gratitude for this moment, being able to sit with ourselves in this moment and practice, to connect with our body, our mind, our spirit, to find breath, to find strength, to find vulnerability, and to know that all of these things are okay. And my gratitude to you, each and every one of you, thank you so much for your love and support I bow to you. Love and blessings. Namaste.